Hey everyone, here at OSMVTXRoots.com. We're watching, you're watching our video first look, not our full review yet, of the Jazz Media Portable Theater GVD300 LCD display. This is basically a um, more budget-friendly version of a head-mounted display system where you can wear and then you have a portable theater in front of your eyes. We've seen very similar products in the passages. Um, the Google Glass, which is kind of different. We have the Oculus Rift that's coming out, the Sony HMZ series. We've reviewed quite a lot, such as the Eyewear 2 that we just posted a few days ago. And well, we also have um, MyView video devices. And now the Jazz Media here, which is, um, again, another interesting option to go with. This is actually produced by an Australian company, and it costs $450 brand new out of the box, and includes all of your accessories. We can plug into S-Video outputs, um, your... Uh, and also VGA outputs to your computers, so you can also change that up. There's also an external battery pack for you to charge the battery. Here is a closer look at some of the, um, you know, how it looks like um, from the package. This is actually something that we've pulled from the web right now. You can purchase this on eBay.com for, uh, for a use condition for, I believe, around $120, which is a significant discount from the original $450 asking price. And taking a look at um, some of the specifications here, it says that it's an LCD display, basically. Um, it has a... Uh, virtual reality system. It has a 2.1 track Dolby surround sound earphone for you to actually have pretty good um, audio quality. Unfortunately, the sound, the video quality isn't that spectacular, coming in at only a picture resolution of 800 by 225. And also it, it creates a a 36 inch virtual screen at two meters away. So it's not the largest dis display that we've seen either. We've seen some, the things like the iTheater, also the Sony HMZ, which have screen resolutions or virtual screen resolutions of 80 inches and also you know up to 800 inches. So this is quite small in comparison. And also it has a um, 26 degree viewing angle, which is slightly smaller as well, NTSC for video signal output, which is good, and 9V output for the battery pack and includes uh, some of these product uh, things that you can see here. It's also available at geeks.com. So now let's take a look at the actual uh, product itself, which I have right now. Um, it's, it's quite interesting. It comes in multiple colors, and of course you can see online on the pictures over there, this is that is a blue version, but it also comes in a uh, silver version, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Take the cords over, and you can see that. Let's take a look at the glasses themselves. So, as far as HMD head-mounted displays are concerned, we've seen quite a lot recently, and we have to say that the Jazz Media pair of virtual um, virtual glasses are actually quite large. They're one of the largest uh, one pairs of virtual glasses we've seen. They're quite heavy, and so if you prepare, if you want something that's really lightweight, really small, then perhaps these are not going to work for you. Um, they are, you know, small enough to take onto a bag for travel, but just not, I think, small enough for most people to comfortably year wear for extended periods of time. Although this Sony HMZ series is even heavier and larger. So you can see that's again quite heavy. And on the side here, you can see it opens up like so, and the actual ear pieces for both both sides, again using Dobly surround sound, fit into these ear canals for easy storage, and then you can plug it in here and then utilize it when you're done. The good news about these is they, they are actually pretty comfortable. They are kind of like a helmet when you wear them. There's a nice foam um, pad on the front for you to pad uh, your actual ears and then your forehead when you're wearing them, and then you can actually adjust the actual piece themselves, and you can see that this is where your nose would sit and the theater themselves, which unfortunately we can't really see into because they're not on and we'll review the actual video quality in part two of our actual video review. So uh, that's basically the logistics of these glasses. They have a lot of flexibility in terms of um, having them be able to adjust to the point of view that you want when you're wearing them. And you can see the other side is the cord and it includes on the side a small remote for you to adjust the contrast and also the brightness. This is something that we haven't really seen before from other HMZs and also the volume. And so this is actually something we really liked, the this remote control on the side. And of course on the other end, we have on one end plugging into your video output sources, such as your again your VGA output for computers, and also the other side you have this battery pack which is kind of chunky. You can utilize to charge the battery pack and also when the battery pack is fully charged, you can use it to power the device on the go. There's also a clip which you can utilize um, to clip it onto your, your pants or um, on your shirt so that you can use it when you're traveling. So again, a pretty complete solution. We are excited to get this in, a, in the labs and start testing it out. Looks like a pretty good virtual reality solution and we're going to see the, if the um, video quality and audio quality really stacks up with other HMD devices we've tested recently. Thanks for watching here at osmbtx3.com. This has been the Jazz Media Portable Video Theater.